Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. I know it's been a while, but um, I'm back with another video here. Um, last week, there were elections in a few states across the country, off-year elections. Um, Virginia, of course, was a big loss for Democrats. New Jersey, they barely hung on for some of their seats there. And, yeah, people are on the Democratic side are just screaming the apocalypse is here. Without looking at some of the bright sides. We'll talk about the bad stuff in a minute, but first off, let's talk about the bright, bright stuff. Governor Murphy of North, or New Jersey, sorry, um, barely won. The other person, from what last I checked, was still refusing to concede the election, even though it is clear that they lost. Um, but the fact is, it's the first person, the first Democrat in almost two decades, to win re-election as governor in New Jersey. I think that's a bright spot. I think that shows that something is there, right? That we, the Democrats aren't all, aren't all doing bad. Now, the fact is, a lot of Democrats are doing terribly. And the 2022 midterms, yeah, aren't going, aren't going to go great. We'll get to that. But, but I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. There are a number of reasons why things went the way they did in Virginia. The reason um, Yorkin won down in Virginia over McLuffey or whatever um, is the fact that he pushed a lie. And for some reason, white voters are terrified of what he was pushing. Mr. Yorkin was pushing a narrative that critical race theory is being taught in your schools being shoved in your kids' throats. This is all a pure fabrication. Because, in fact, critical race theory is an academic and legal scholarly theory. Yes, we are seeing more taught in the wor world of education to our children about race and how other races did provide all sorts of stuff to this country. That uh, white people are not the only people that are worth something in this country. And yes, we are seeing more being taught about what happened to African Americans in this country, and to Native Americans in this country, and to Asian Americans in this country. Yes, we are seeing all this, but it is not a critical race theory that's being taught to your kids. It's history. It's facts. If you don't like facts, then I'm sorry. But, but reality is facts. The fact is, this country has a terrible history when it comes to race relations. And there's nothing you can do about that. It is what it is. But this is what um, Mr. Yorkin pushed in Virginia. And yes, there is there are some things that maybe Joe Biden was pulling some things down on. Afghanistan didn't go well as some people saw it. And no, it was not a great withdrawal, but it's what the withdrawal was always going to be. The economy, inflation, prices going up, yeah, those are things that are definitely in play here. But that isn't the main reason that they were losing. Republicans swept Virginia because of a lie. They all ran on the same lie. That the boogeyman, critical race theory, is out to get your children. That, you know, and then you have the vaccines and stuff like that. That's that's also plays into it. Well, let's talk about a little bit of the bad stuff. Now, I mentioned this in a post on YouTube the other day. The last time we had a Republican governor of Virginia, he was nicely dubbed Governor Ultrasound by one Rachel Maddow. Why? Because he decided to try and pass a bill that would force women, even rape victims, um, to get a transvaginal ultrasound in order to have an abortion. As many saw it at the time and still do, it seemed to be a violation, really, of the women's rights. Not to mention violating these people as a rape victim after they've already been violated. 
the thing is, this isn't going to change. This is still going to be what they run on. This is still going to be what they do. They don't care about your rights. They never have and they never will. They claim they do, but they never actually do anything to prove that they care about your rights. What you're going to see in Virginia is exactly what you just saw in Texas. They're going to pass a six-week supposed heartbeat bill, even though there is no heartbeat at six weeks. At least you're going to try. They're going to try and they're going to sit there. You'll see them push, you know, a trans bill through, an anti-trans bill through to ban kids from youth sports, even though Virginia hasn't been doing that. You're going to see all sorts of attacks on LGBTQ um, people. You're going to see polling places places closing across the state in, in African-American majority areas. These are just some things you're going to see in Virginia. And there's it just is what it is. At the end of the day, elections have consequences. And Democrats that stayed home, you're to blame. Yeah, we can sit there and blame the Republicans that bought hook, line, and sink critical race theory. But it's the Democrats that stayed home in Virginia that lost that race. It's the Democrats that stayed home in New Jersey that almost lost that race. Now, the thing is, maybe if we had actually gotten some legislation through, gotten a few things passed, maybe, just maybe, Democrats wouldn't have fared so badly last Tuesday. The infrastructure bill shouldn't have been a fight. Neither of them. The bipartisan infrastructure bill, the one that we needed the most when it came to at least getting our bridges and roads built proper, you know, built back. Yeah, that passed. That's great. A little late. Would have helped people on the Democrats on Tuesday. But the other thing that would have helped Democrats would have been if Joe Manchin would have got his ass out of the way. And let us pass the social infrastructure bill, the Build Back Better plan from Joe Biden. Joe Biden is not asking to build, to be crazy. He's not asking for socialist or communist takeovers of the country. Joe Biden is simply trying to get things passed that we need. Extended, uh, you know, extended um, funding for disabled and elderly folks. Parental leave you know, after a child is born, or medical leave, for fa family medical leave. Extra funding for Head Start. These things are not crazy. Expanding medical, medical and dental for Medicare is not insane. These things are not crazy. These are not out of the ordinary things. These are things that 80% of Americans support. He's not even talking about expanding Medicare to be Medicare for all. He's talking about expanding the op this option, the things that are available to the people already on Medicare. Believe it or not, dental is more, is more important to your health than you would ever think. Because if your teeth go bad, your diet, your nutrition goes bad, your health goes bad. Also, having cavities in your mouth makes you at higher risk for create, creating things like aspirated, aspiration um, pneumonia. So these things are not good. And the fact that we don't have them when most of the rest of the world does is disgusting. Those are the things that Joe Biden wants to get done. Now, I have my issues with Joe Biden. There's a number of problems, and you're going to see them in some future videos. And you've probably already seen one video about it. But yes, Joe Biden is not perfect. I don't consider, I don't expect a president to be perfect. But I do expect Democrats to fall in line and try to follow at least some of what the man wants to do. What he was elected to do. But first, we need people like Chris, Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin to get out of the way and know their role and shut their mouth. I'm so sick of two Democrats holding up the entire agenda. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with another one later this week. I'll see you down the road.